Hello friends, it is Saturday and it is the beginning of a new vlogging week for me. It is also the reverse readathon thing and I have already started my reading. It is um, 10 a.m., 10.30 a.m. and that means that it has been going on for actually about eight hours already. Um, and because it started at 2 a.m. my time, I I didn't start at the beginning. I started at uh, at 8, I think, <laughs> my time. Um, and I read something in Full Metal Alchemist. It's wrong. Full Metal Alchemist, I read uh, for half an hour or something and got to page 120 out of 100. I think it's 180 pages. So I have this much left. I am looking forward to reading the rest and I have enjoyed reading the parts up until now. It is really, really interesting, um, the things that they are figuring out in this one. So that's very exciting. I have also been listening to a lot of audio because I've been doing some stuff at home. I've been folding some laundry and stuff. And I have now have two hours left of my audio of interesting times. So I'm three hours into it and it means I've been listening to about an hour and I have enjoyed my time listening to it. It is fun. Um, I'm happy to see Two Flower again. He hasn't been in, I feel like he hasn't been in the Rinsewind novels in a while, but it's been a while since I read my last Rinsewind book. Um, I think the last Rinsewind book I read was Eric. Yeah, it's the first after Eric and Eric was such a short book. Um, so I'm pretty sure he wasn't in that book, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'm happy to see Two Flower again because he's kind of fun and he doesn't definitely uh, perks things up because uh, Rinsewind can be a bit boring at times. So it was nice. Uh, Rinsewind is currently kept hostage <coughs> with Two Flower and so it's interesting going, going to be interesting seeing how he's going to get out of that situation. So I'm enjoying it. I'm going to be, I think I'm going to keep listening, listening to it now. Um, I am on my way out. I'm gonna go uh, down to the city and to the stores and see if I need to get something. I feel like going out a little bit. So um, I also have to make sure I have some coins so I can put on a batch of laundry. Uh, I may have just folded laundry, but I still have some laundry to do. So that's the plan. And hopefully when I get back from that, I can put on a batch of laundry and then actually sit down and read for real for a bit um, for an hour or something before I have to get lunch. We will see. It depends on how long it takes me uh, to be in the city and how that works out. So we'll see. Otherwise, I'll just read after I've had lunch and see how far I get. And then I also need to do some other cleaning stuff. I need to clean the apartment, so I expect I will finish my audio today, no problem or something. Um, that's the plan. I will talk to you later. Bye. Hello friends, it is now 4 p.m. and I wanted to check in with you. I still haven't physically read any pages, but I have uh, more or less just finished um, Interesting Times by Terry Pratchett. Um, so that is good. I have finished one book. And I have two books more that I want to finish. And the thing is, I've been really, really tired and having a bit of a headache all today. So I was hoping that me going down to the city would have helped a little bit with that. Um, it didn't and it didn't really. Um, but I, as I said, I have listened to the audio and I finished that. I have just about to make myself a cup of coffee. Hopefully that will awaken me a bit. That's at least what I'm going to try and see if that will help. So yeah, the book that I'm planning on reading from now is this one, which I'm on page 116 out of 275, 76. So I have about 100 and 70 pages left. It's not a ton of pages if I could just get myself down to read it. I hate when I feel like this. I'm so demotivated and yeah, 
but hopefully the coffee will help me and I will be getting into the book. But yeah, happy I finished Interesting Times. It was a good book. I think I gave it four out of five stars on Goodreads because um, I was considering giving it a three and a half because like I've mentioned this before, but Rincewind is one of my least favorite characters of the disc world, but I don't hate the books. It's just that he's a really weird, he's, he's an interesting type of character because he's not, what do you say? The thing about him is he has a tendency to run from things when he should be helping. Um, he is a bit of, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't really explain it. It's difficult to explain, but it did have a lot of fun hu humor and it featured two flower. We were actually set in a different um, area of the disc world this time. Um, we have previously mostly been set in Angmar Park for the most part. And then when the witches, it's, um, we are in their area, but it's still close to the Angmar Park area. So, and it is one I went to, I forgot the name of the city, but it's like the equivalent of China in our world because it has a wall and stuff uh, separating the empire from the rest of the disc world. Um, so I guess that's what it's supposed to be. And Two Flower is from China. Oh, well, <laughs> no, he is from this area. Uh, and there, you're not allowed to move away from that area. Um, you are not allowed to check. So the, the, the empire comes up with uh, stories about how you're not supposed to uh, like just make makes people think that all the things that are outside of the wall is ghosts and and demons and stuff and two flower manages to escape it goes on an adventure and when he comes back he says this is what i've been doing on my vacation thing and sort of lets people know that the outside world is not as it's claimed but he's being a uh, kept uh, in captivity <laughs> by the empire and so we have, we find out about this uh, from when Winsrind himself uh, gets to uh, this place and is also uh, like taken prisoner because he uh, is not supposed to be there. Um, but yeah, it's it was fun. I really enjoyed parts of it. Uh, like, but uh, Rinswind is my least favorite character. But since considering this is a Rinswind book, I really really enjoyed it and. Um, yeah, so I gave it four out of five stars. Happy I read it and looking forward to the next book because that is going to be a witch's book. Like the witches are um, some of my favorites. I, I mentioned that Death is my favorite character and the, the good thing about Rinswind is that Death tends to uh, show up a little more frequently than he does in some of the others. Um, or at least I'd say Death is probably, he's the only character that you meet in each and every single series because like Death is part of everyone's life. And so he is part of every Discworld novel. And so there's just some novels that he makes a bit of more of a presence in, other than his own, like his own series line. Um, and that is, one of them is the Rincewind series. He also tends to pop in quite a lot when with the Witches series. But apart from Death being my favorite character, the next favorite character is definitely uh, Granny Weatherwax. She is just a delight and obviously one of the witches so but yeah bye hello friends it is now mm, 7 p.m on on saturday i have read something in ah, song of humana which is not called it's called shape changers <laughs> i read 50 pages of shape changers um so i made it to page 150 uh, 54 out of 276 so I have about 100 and 125 pages 120 pages left I think and there are things that definitely intrigues me a lot um, I have sort of been writing uh, stuff down with every 50 pages of things that I have thought about while I was reading that part and my thoughts for this one is Duncan frustrates me a lot and I don't care much for his dominance towards Alex 
Um, and the next thing I wrote was the magic and world keeps fascinating me and I'm very interested in discovering what Alex can do with her shape-shifting powers and yeah so that's interesting. I'm finally at a place where I feel like I'm really I'm, I'm super intrigued about the world and all of it that it's doing and sort of the clan stuff is really interesting but yeah as I said Duncan is a pain in the ass. <laughs> I really really so far don't like it and I don't ship them together at all at this point at this point in the book i'm thinking if they end up together i will be a little bit pissed <laughs> but we'll see it could change he's just really like there was a comment at a point that i marked because i was it, it angered me <laughs> i use orange for things that i don't i dislike uh whether it be a comment that the characters do or or a situation they're in or something i find that is not how do I say it? How, it? That is, I don't feel like the the main the our character um should deal with, or if it's something to do with the writing that I don't like as well. So it's both like literary parts, but also just situations that the characters are in and something they say. And he says, Melina will be my Shizula as I promised her when we were children, but you hold a place in my soul. Mijas have honors and rights within the clan. There is no disgrace among the Shishuli. I will keep you by me. <laughs> and it's just like, what? It's because they have, um, he was like, they. he wanted her as a Shishula. Is that what it's called? And then they were together. And when they came back to 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 let the clan know that they were a couple he found out from his brother or something finn is his name that his former promised shesula um suddenly was maybe pregnant and carrying his child and um but she had been with someone else because she wanted to be with and chose another one to be with but because he promised her he wants to her to be the shushula now because they weren't didn't want to be together anymore and so he says that he will she the new one will be shushula and that he <laughs> oh, it's difficult to explain but that she could be a miha which is like a mistress <laughs> in this world and so he's just belittling her and saying that I, I really didn't just didn't like that um and then she said something that made me happy later on <laughs> because she needs to stand up for herself and she just said don't you know there's much to the shishuli i cannot under comprehend but there are things that you cannot comprehend do not ask me again to be your micha for i will not and i was just happy that she said that because she's not she shouldn't be something she doesn't want to just because that he wants both of the women and can't get both and it's just frustrating <laughs> so there's definitely a lot of things um some some things from this book that is hasn't aged very well but i do like some places of it and i hope that it will keep being like that and that it will become more intriguing and better as the time goes so yeah this is what i've been doing for the past couple of hours i've read 50 pages of that and i don't and i'm not sure if i will end up finishing it today but we'll see um i'm currently in the progress of getting me some dinner i'm going to go easy i think and get something some takeout so yeah that's the plan i'm gonna go get it and we'll talk to you later about my reading progress I feel like um, I haven't done much progress, but I have at least finished the book and I have made progress in that one and that's fine. Now I'm gonna go get myself some dinner and hopefully I'll be able to read something afterwards. Tomorrow I am planning on going to my sister's to help out with stuff. Um, and I'm gonna go there around lunchtime, I think. I just talked, I just talked to her on the phone. So I don't know how much I'm going to be reading tomorrow, but I'm definitely going to try and read something in the morning. And then I will, in the evening, I have um, spoken to Rhea. I've spoken to Rhea from the book Finch. Um, 
because back in the Barathon time, <laughs> we did sprints together and she's also doing the news. And so I was like, maybe we could sprint together <laughs> over the month. And she said, I could do one tomorrow. And I was like, yeah, I could do it too. <laughs> Just maybe uh, actually reading something from my news TBR would be good for that. So we'll see. Anyway, this is my update. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello friends, it is now Sunday and I wanted to check in with a short update before I leave for my sisters. I just came back from a training session, which why I had a shower. And I'm bringing this book along with me because in case there's time to read anything. I managed to read another 10 pages or something uh, this morning. Uh, and then I have finished the Full Metal Alchemist Volume 11, and I loved it. It was so good. I mean, the direction this is taking now is really, really interesting. And we definitely got some reveals about the boys <laughs> and what happened to them. So I am so looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the next coming volumes. Um, but I don't know when I will have time to read the next one. So we'll see. Hello, friends. It is... Sunday evening at 11 p.m. I'm on my way to bed because I have like work tomorrow. I'm not, I'm going to be staying in my city tomorrow because we have, um, I am starting a training introduction sort of course tomorrow, which is interesting. <laughs> my um, colleagues, well, I have two others, there's two others who start in the same type of position as me. So they do, didn't want to start an introduction course just for me when there are two new ones starting a month later. So we are doing that tomorrow uh, for the uh, first part of the day from I think 8 to 12 or something. I have like, I'm going to have like 10 to 15 dis different customers that I'm going to do uh, their bookkeeping for like general day-to-day -day stuff some of them i have to do everything some of them i only have to do like payment stuff like pay at the end of, of the month or something like that and others i need to do something a couple of times like every quarter or some things uh only once a year so it's, it depends a lot on the customer and in order for me to remember all of it i was like how do you make sure I mean, I've been used to working with a calendar and stuff and you just putting in everything that I have to do to remind myself to do things. But the way they use the calendar, we only use things so that um, we can see if we're out of the office, if we are not available in any way, because everyone can see the calendars. Um, so I was just wondering how everyone was... Um, sure they, they they were getting to all of the customers in the right time so that everything was remembered and you didn't suddenly have to do like five different customers in a week or something um um so uh, yeah um stuff like that is also going to be covered a little more in depth than it has already been because i've had i've already asked it so i've had some answers to it um and just in general the time schedules and stuff we we calculate a lot in time so we have to to um, specify what we've been doing all day because we are dependent on all of the customers and the time that we're using on them. So we have to calculate all the time we use for each customer, whether it's an hour or two hours. And so, and how much time we use for non-refundable stuff, like, because there's also always going to be something that you can't get payment for. Um, so like your own, administration stuff like answering emails uh like meetings and stuff um that is non productive right now but it's going to be beneficial later so yeah but yeah i have been reading quite a i've actually been reading quite a bit today sort of <laughs> considering i've been at my sister's for uh, like four or five hours, I've been out for a training session. I have I feel like I've read quite a bit. I finished Full Metal Alchemist and I read a bit in The Shape Changer. I brought it along with me in bed in case I want to read until I fall asleep. 
Um, then I read the first 62 pages of The, the Faded Sky by um, Mary Warburnett Kowal. And it is, so far I'm enjoying it. Um, I wasn't sure how how long it will take me to get into it, but um, it's definitely getting interesting now. And otherwise, I have listened to Good Omens, but not a whole lot because when I drive, drove to my sister, I was driving with my other sister, and she doesn't listen to books, and it would feel weird <laughs> starting a book in the middle of the book for her. Um, so we were listening to music instead. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I don't know how much audio I'll get in. Hopefully, the after after dinner, no, after lunch, uh, I am going to be working at the new or the bigger office. I was uh, told that I could do that and work on one of the customers that I have, um, where and they just told me that I should just do everything that I could, and if I had any questions about some of the things, I could take it back to the office tomorrow, and we'll figure it out then. Anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully, I have been sprinting with Rhea this evening, so. Uh, that was really funny and we've decided to do it again tomorrow because it will definitely keep us reading over the month and I think that's something I need to be uh, able to stay focused on my reading uh, and I have so many books to read and I need to definitely make a lot of progress next week so hopefully, fingers crossed, I can do that. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hello friends, it is... Tuesday. I'm already mixing up the days of the week. Did I check in yesterday? I forgot. Um, to, yesterday was actually a pretty decent reading day in terms of actual physical reading. I made progress in all of my physical books. First things, I read 13 pages of Shape Changes <gasps> before I went to work. I read About 70 something pages. What did I write down? 73 pages of The Faded Sky by Mary Robinette Cole. So I'm now 135 pages into it and I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, I've also started on Giant Days Volume 1. I read that before a bit last night. So yeah, I'm happy about that and I may didn't barely listen to uh, the fool's quest yesterday i think i listened to um, 20 minutes maybe so really not very much but today i got through quite a bit of fool's quest i'm six and six hours and seven minutes into it now in my speed which means i'm 12 hours and 12 minutes into it in regular speeds so i'm definitely making progress on this and I am enjoying it and I think I listened to two and a half hours today so I'm definitely happy about that. I've listened to I think and half half an hour of Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Ter Pratchett and I am not sure how far I'm into it but I'm enjoying that one as well. It's very much fun listening to it and you can definitely tell um, to a British humor, but I also feel like you could see Neil Gaiman in it, so it's a good mix, I think. Today I haven't read anything apart from my audio yet, but I'm planning on trying to get to Giant Days Volume 1 right now before I go to bed, because I feel like reading that, so we'll see how far I get into that. I also wanted to share with you, I got my book haul by my book mail, finally. Um, that I've been talking about for a bit. Um, I picked it up at the store today. I already opened it because I had to check which of the packages I got because maybe possibly I'd get the other one. Who knows? Uh, but that would mean I would have a double up on a couple of things. But there was also some, two books I couldn't reorder because there was only very few left and one of them was actually Equal Rights by Tara Pratchett. So I'm a little sad about that because that's one of my favorite um, Ter Pratchett books that I don't own yet and there's almost never a copy of that so when I saw it I just immediately purchased it together with the others and obviously it got lost in the mail ain't that just typical but I did get 
Interesting Times by Terry Pratchett, which I just finished last week and really, really enjoyed. And it's in a pretty good condition. I mean, the color has worn off a little bit, but it's not very creased. Um, and the pages are not super yellow. It's like, you can tell it's been read through, but it's not terrible. I also got Masquerade by Terry Pratchett, which is the next book that I have to read this month. And so I'm happy about that. I do have the books that comes after Feet of Clay. I have to read Feet of Masquerade, Feet of Clay, and Hogfather. So by from this world and yeah. Um, another book that I got that I saw because when I get these orders, I want to fill up the order a little bit so it makes sense for me to actually buy it. So I add some extra things. One of them is um, I got was a Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. I've wanted to check out his stuff and I've heard that this one is messed up. Um, I have never seen the movie, so I don't know the plot twists. I know it's a very, very hyped cult movie and I hear everyone talk about it. So I'm interested in seeing what it's like and then I'll watch the movie later. Um, I like the fact that I, I, have, I, I have no idea what's going on in this book. And that everyone else like knows it and I, I've never been spoiled about the plot twists. I know it's very messed up and that has a lot of plot twists so I'm interested in seeing how that's gonna work out. Another book that I got was because I am interested in reading. I like catchy. I like getting uh, books for middle grade children, young adults from you know, those authors who were really important to my generation when they were young. And so like, um, in this case, it was a Shannon Hale book. I've heard people talk about her. I don't know how popular she was, but I know she makes fairy tale retellings. And this one is called The Book of a Thousand Days by Shannon Hale. I thought this was a pretty decent looking book. It was a standalone as well. And it says, this is no ordinary fairy tale. The hero isn't charming. The heroine is a brat. And you certainly won't guess the ending. And that sounds fun. It says, when a beautiful lady refuses to marry the lord her father has chosen for her, her father is furious. So furious he locks her in the tower with her maid. But the maid realizes there's something deeply sinister behind the lady's fear of the lord. Something which means they could be in more danger beyond the walls of the tower than imprisoned within them. So it sounds interesting for sure. And then finally the last thing that I got was because I have been didn't rec, rec it was recommended to me in one of the comments of my videos and I've seen um I've never heard of it before. But then I saw it had they had an omnibus of the four books of this series. So I got the Borrowers Omnibus by Mary Norton, I think I gave three euros for this. Um, and it collects four kids' stories. First, the first one is called The Burrows, then there's The Burrows of Fields, and The Burrows of Float, and The Burrows Aloft. Those are the four stories. And it says the classic stories of the tiny people who live secretly. In the nooks and crannies of old houses. Wow, it sounds fun. The Burrows is one of the outstanding English children's books. Fit to rank with The Wind in the Willows and The Hobbit. That's that's a bit of a comparison, I'd say. So, an English classic. Children's classic. So, maybe that's why it was so cheap. And in part of it, because it, the place that I buy it from is... And, I'm just gonna move the dust jacket. It's exactly the same underneath the dust jacket. It smells funny. It has nice uh, end pages. And this is difficult. It has illustrations on every other page or so. And I do enjoy. Uh, my books when they have illustrations they are fun more fun to read that way so I'm really looking forward to reading this and I'm, I'm having high hopes 
and even though it's like a chunky one, it's four books that are about 150 pages each. So it's not even 500 pages. Yeah, wait, it was 600 something. <laughs> My math is terrible today. All right. This is my update for now. I'm on my way to bed. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit tired. Um, so I'm going to be reading until I drop, as you say. And hopefully tomorrow I'll get some more reading in. I don't have training tomorrow. I went for a training session today. And that's probably one of the reasons why I didn't get very much actual physically reading in. I was thinking I was going to get a lot more audio in, actually. Because I had plans when I came home. But then I got tired and I ended up sitting and watching some YouTube videos and I uploaded and edited my vlog from last week so it also took some time. Um, I will talk to you in another update tomorrow. Hopefully I'll remember to check in and I'll let you know about my progress of the day. Bye. Good evening friends. It is Thursday and I thought I wanted to check in with an update because I feel like I didn't do it yesterday. And I'm not sure if I did it on Tuesday either, did I? Maybe I did on Tuesday actually. And that's the last time you heard from me? Who knows? Uh, <laughs> I don't. Anyway, I have been quite busy the past couple of days, but I haven't been physically reading very much. I've been listening to a lot of audio. I am about 100 and something pages away from finishing Good Omens, which means I have about... Do, do I have like an hour and a half left or something? Possibly. Um, and I'm enjoying it very much still. Um, I have also listened to quite a bit of uh, Fool's Quest and I am nine hours into it out of 17. So I'm over halfway. <laughs> But it's still a slow moving project. I feel like I could possibly push to finish Good Omens tomorrow. And get a good chunk into Fool's Quest hopefully. I've definitely been able to listen to something of Fool's Quest every day. Except Monday. So I'm still a little bit behind on that. But I did get through 160 something pages today. Which is definitely a lot. Um, I don't know if there was something wrong with the calculation some of the other days, because I don't feel like I listen to that much. But maybe I've listened to about two hours every day. That is my... It's a little less than I wanted to, but I've been listening to more of Good Omens than I had expected to at this point. So, I think I can still do it. Um, for sure. Uh, so I'm going to attempt that. I've also made good progress on Giant Days the graphic novel and I hope to finish it tonight actually um, unless I fall asleep there's a chance of that happening and I have I still have about 100 pages left of Shape Changer I still have about two thirds of um, Faded Sky but I hope I can get through a lot of reading over the weekend Maybe I can read get something in tomorrow morning before I leave for work. That's my hope. If I have a half an hour or something then, I'll definitely get through something. Um, I don't know which book, but we'll see. I It's not been easy <laughs> concentrating. And actually, I haven't been feeling like picking up a book so much when I got home because I've been having a lot of other things on my mind. And so when I finally finish those things, I want to sit and watch TV, relax and stuff and it's because today I've been at, in the bank having a meeting with my bank advisor is that what it's called I don't know a uh, financial advisor for my bank and because I have for quite a while thought about eventually buying a house <laughs> and but the thing is you know I didn't know if my economy was strong enough for me to be able to do that. And I was a little scared of going there and getting a rejection or a so unrealistic goal that it was too far out in the future for me. Um, so I went today after having gotten a new job where I have a different payment and um, maybe there was a possibility that things would be easier. And it's definitely not as uh, <laughs> as unrealistic as I was uh, 
my worst fear had been, but I probably wouldn't have been able to succeed very quickly had it been uh, with my previous job. But my plan is now that I'm going to t attempt seeing how I would do with my the things I have available if I do the house pur purchase now and use that to save up for the actual house because I have to have saved up 5% of the house's value myself before I can buy the house and I don't have that <laughs> so yeah and then I um so I have to think about that and it may be if I can focus on it I might be able to think about buying a house in a year's time less than a year maybe if I am really good so I'm thinking spring next year is a hopeful thought it's like but otherwise like summer autumn next year is probably possibly the most realistic goal but I'm hoping I can do it before but we'll see it all depends on how it goes over the next couple of months with my um savings and stuff so yeah and it was also yeah just nice to get things uh talked about and your possibilities and stuff so yesterday i spent a lot of time uh finding out information for my bank interview as well as um redoing my budget to make sure that i had everything accounted for and i wasn't like under my payments or something to my budget account and happy to see that I was completely right in my amount <laughs> that I did earlier the year, in the year but you know you can never uh, be too sure maybe I had an error in my calculations or something but yeah so that is what happened yesterday and today I went to the bank interview obviously and so there's been a lot of things and then at work I've also been quite busy with things so yeah hopefully I will be able to read something over the weekend. Um, I don't have too many plans, I think, over the weekend. So, yeah. Anyway, this is my update. I will talk to you tomorrow with a final update for the week, I hope. And let you know how it's been going. And, yeah. Bye. Hello, friends. It is actually Sunday and I forgot to do a final update of my vlog. Um, for last week, so I'm gonna do it now um, before I get started on the actual editing. I finished Giant Days on Friday. I forgot to bring my book with me to my parents, so I never got around to read anything then um, because my head was uh, uh, tired after my day at work. But I did li listen to a lot at work on that day. I ended up being 12 hours into Fool's Quest by the end of the day. So I really, really enjoyed uh, that day in terms of my audio. Um, but I got through the remaining part of Giant Days, um, nine pages of Shape Changer. So that was like four twenty minutes in the morning. And I read 153 pages of Fool, Fool's Quest. So in total that leads me to 196 pages of the day. So I managed to finish Interesting Times this week, Full Metal Alchemists, and Giant Days. Did I finish something else? Yeah, that's all I finished this week. But then I made a huge amount of progress on Fool's Quest and also Good Omens. So I'm planning on finishing those two in the weekend. And then I was 135 pages into The Fate of Sky. So... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it if I end up finishing those three books this weekend. And I've had a pretty successful week uh, in total, I'd say. But I will talk to you soon in another video. This was my final update. See ya.